what we're going to do with this video is we are going to take our board which we just hooked up uh, we just hooked up the TMP36 here it's an analog sensor it is being read by the Arduino here and it was being output to the serial port now what we want to do is we want to use the um, open log here which takes in a micro SD card there uh, and it will write the data out to the micro SD card so we're going to put the micro SD card back in here like that and we're going to hook up the open log to work uh, with the Arduino all right so what we're going to do is plug this into the board like so actually let's plug it in this way because oh my goodness once again it doesn't want to go in oh breadboard is so painful all right uh, so now you can see that this is the open log here uh, the micro SD card is there it's there and the little black thing is there a little there and then all the pins here are all the pins there and so this is how they're labeled here RX TX 3.3 ground and not used all right so the let's hook up the ground first ground remember we had a, our blue wires this is blue blue uh, and so we hook up the ground which is the second pin here second pin right there so we plug that in there and it once again it doesn't matter whether we plug it in there or here or wherever anywhere along this line works just fine so we're going to plug that in there like that once again we could plug it in anywhere we want along here i just choose this uh, it doesn't matter then vcc is the 3.3 line on here it's labeled as vcc there we are doing that with red red okay once again it doesn't matter where you place it, it can be anywhere along these four pins here we'll put it there and then we plug that into the 3.3 line which this whole red is 3.3 volts and so we can just use that so now we're powering the open log open log is totally powered now it's not plugged in but it's it's powered um, okay now the hard part transmit and receive all right so if we look on our schematic for the Arduino we can see that we have a receive pin here and a transmit pin and that corresponds to like the two last pins on the right side of the Arduino next to this big silver thing okay so if we look at the Arduino those are those two pins here one two pins all right so transmit is the last one now transmit on the Arduino is receive on the open log it's transmitting from the Arduino it's receiving it on the open log so let's take these are digital pins uh, we can represent those with uh, whatever color we want let's use yellow again just because it's fine so what do we say the last one is transmit so this one we're gonna plug into transmit and then we need this one to go into receive on the open log receive so we'll put that one in there and then this one uh, the second pin is the receive on the Arduino receive on the Arduino goes into the transmit on the open log there that pin now we have the open log all wired up that's it so these two jumpers come over and you can see that they're actually sort of reversed here so make sure that you trace them right transmit here receive there 
receive there, transmit here. Okay, power is this line, the red line, and ground is the blue line. All right, that is it. That is all that we need to do for the wiring and we're done on the wiring. So now let's look at the Arduino code. Okay, we're going to use the exact same Arduino code uh, that we used before, which is this analog sensor or analog read serial. Um, if you don't remember where we got that, let's actually just close this, don't save. We got this from file, examples, basics, analog read serial okay we go over here go through it again there's a serial begin a analog read here from pin a0 so that's going to read the tmp36 then it is going to print the data to the serial port it's going to delay one millisecond we're going to change that back to 100 milliseconds now we are ready to upload this to the Arduino, which is right here. We'll plug that in. I think like that. No, like that. Okay. You saw a little blue light come on on the open log. Open log's not doing anything right now, but um, the open log just says that it's getting power. So let's upload this again, just to you know, see. Actually, this code is already stored on the Arduino, so we didn't really need to upload it, but I think the default is just to upload and upload and upload. Uh, same code. All right, so it's done uploading. We can click on the serial monitor again, and we see temperatures once again. And so it's working. Uh, the temperatures are varying around a lot, but it's still working. It's shoving out some values. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna change the code. What we have done is this is a serial port going out the USB, universal serial bus. This is the port that's going to the computer. This is another serial port that's going over to the open log, all right? Now, if we look at our code, we see that we have serial begin and serial print line. Um, the Arduino knows the difference between the USB serial, which is called serial, and the serial port here, the transmit and receive, which is called serial one. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to add in a one here. So it's serial one begin and serial one print line. That's all that we really have to do to change the code. So let's upload this again. And we will, this is, this is always, you always want to cross your fingers. We're double crossing our fingers this time because I haven't tested this. It's going to work. I know it is. Uploaded. Okay. It's uploaded and we kill our serial monitor. Let's open our serial monitor again. There's nothing there. Why is there nothing there? Oh my gosh, look at this. The open log, there's a little blue light. Little blue light's going crazy, 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 crazy. What that means is it's actually writing to the SD card. So it's taking the temperature data from here, it's bringing it into the Arduino, and then it's sending the data to the SD card. All right, we don't get anything reported on the computer whatsoever, no recording, but we actually do see that there's a little blue light flashing, so it's actually doing something. All right. Now, what we do, like there's no way to stop this really, except to just unplug it. So we're just going to unplug it like this. All right, nothing happens. Lights go off, everything's dead. We take out our SD card here, micro SD card, and we're going to read that in our computer. And mine is way over here, so my head is gonna get very big. Oh my gosh. I plugged in the SD card and you might be able to see that it shows up right next to my dumpster fire here. I double click on that and you can see a bunch of log files. Um, log six, log seven, and log eight. Uh, the, the dates are completely, 
who knows like they're just wrong um, although the August 28th one is actually pretty accurate this log 8 though is January 1st that's the one that just recorded I'm pretty sure because it just records the the latest log so you can like double click on that and it brings up text editor and you can see that it's just got a ton of values those are the temperature values that's it now we can oh my gosh there's so many values now we can read those values into MATLAB or Python or whatever program you want Excel you could actually bring those into Excel very easily and um, plot them out you can do some averaging because their data are all over the place there you go you have temperature data from your uh, Arduino now into your open log to the SD card take out the SD card put it in your computer and you have now the temperature data on your computer ta-da all right thank you very much talk to you in the next uh, video bye